In Elmer, New Jersey, there's a Japanese-style three-chambered kiln that uses the ancient combination of salt and wood fire to literally transform the clay pots being fired. The Perkins Center for the Arts and Apple Farm Arts and Music Center built this Nobaragama kiln, and they fire it 12 to 14 times a year. Why are people crazy enough to do wood firing? You end up getting very involved in it, um, and you really have to because it's, it's, it's a lot of energy. You want to find the easiest way to fire your work, go to electric, and then maybe next gas. It's a lot of work. The Nobaragamas, I don't know when they really came into play, probably more like the 17th, 18th century, Japan. The idea is they originated by going into a hillside that was a clay hillside, digging basically a cave up the hill, and using that enclosure to put clay into to retain enough heat to get to high temperatures. That sort of developed into these hill climbing kilns. This is what's considered a noborigama, and that just means the kiln's been segmented or has more than one chamber. I was here till about 2.30, and then I went home, got a couple hours of sleep, and came back. I went to sleep around 3, so I slept here. So I arrived at 10.30 in the morning, and I fired pretty much straight through till 6.30 this morning. You really don't know exactly what's going to come out. And often you do a lot of work, and you're like, ooh, that didn't come out with it. Look at that surface. That's phenomenal. Yeah. Oh. And other times it's just a completely unexpected kind of treasure that comes out. Mm. Well, you're going to be real pleased with that. Yeah. Yeah. I like the way the clay just flushes a little bit. Right. Mine's probably a little different because I have work that's not pottery and it is more sculptural. I like the sculptural potential of the wood kiln. It does give it almost an, an ancient look.